Hey, I'm Tracy, the fitness director, and I'm here with Janet, the curling director. And we're keeping our six foot distance to bring to you a collaboration between curling and fitness. I asked Tracy to spend a few moments and show me some exercises that I could be working on as I get ready for the season. And of course, you have to be blood. Absolutely. Okay, so Janet's demonstrating a deadlift exercise and she's performing it on the bow suit. So you don't have to use a BOSU, but what's great about this is it simulates the ice in that it uh, is an unstable surface below her feet, causing all of her intrinsic balance muscles to fire um, as she's performing the exercise. So as you can see, she's leaning forward, legs are just slightly bent. She's engaging and stretching through the hamstrings as she leans forward and then contracting as she lifts up squeezing through the glutes and also incorporating the lower back, which is part of our core muscle group. So these are called hip thrusts and Janet's lowering her hips down towards the floor, releasing the pelvis. So you're almost creating a lumbar, cur lumbar curve in her back. And then as she lifts up, she pulls the pelvis forward, squeezing through the glutes. Good, and now I'm gonna add some weight to the exercise just by placing a plate on her body, putting additional weight and resistance. So now we have a squat and a squat is a staple in any length leg strengthening exercise, but it is definitely a must in a curling program because it does target both explosive hip movement, but also hip flexibility. In addition, it strengthens through the quads, the front of the thighs, the hamstrings, back of the thighs, and the glutes. I like having a weight in the front because it helps the participant uh, keep your chest up, so maintain a great posture. And then having the guide of a bench or chair behind you also allows you to perform the exercise in the right technique, keeping your weight in the back of your heels. And yes, lift those toes. So this single leg lunge with your foot elevated on the bench, again, creates that instability. So it's forcing Janet to have to use her balance muscles a little bit more than just placing a foot down on the floor behind and doing the same exercise. You can do that as a modification, but you get a little bit more out of elevating the foot behind. It activates all the intrinsic balance muscles, that being also within the core. So right now her core will be fully engaged being her abdominal muscles and obliques and lower back. Yes, Janet. 